What's up? This is Squire2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be removing and paving the new driveway for the two car garage project. We'll be hopping in this brand new F350 King Ranch and we'll be making our way over to the construction shop. And we will also be using this truck today to trailer the tractor with a plow over to the job site today. And I'm very excited to be using this new truck. The link to this truck will be down below in the comments. I did change the color and the second color on this truck. I really do like the red and the black trim, which is pretty cool. So we'll be coming over here, we'll be attaching to the trailer, which already has the tractor loaded, and we will be removing the driveway and paving a new one. We'll back in here all the way, and I think it's going to be a little bit easier to back in from here, but I'm very excited to be closing out the project today with the driveway. Once this is complete, we'll be doing a pretty cool new series on the channel doing a lot of construction builds which will be a lot of fun so let me know if you do have any cool ideas for the next one we got it all attached that's a very long trailer 40 foot but we do need a pretty long one since it does not fit on the low trail trailer we'll hop back in this truck and this will probably be my new favorite Ford I really do like this model and the body style looks amazing so we'll be making our way over there it does have a really realistic suspension Credits go out to the creators. I will be doing a mod review on this truck and a few other trucks, so stay tuned for that. But amazing looking trucks. So we'll be heading over there. We'll be uh, using the GCD skids here. We do have the dump truck already at the job site, fully loaded with asphalt. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content. I'm very excited to be doing more and more farm sim videos, and I appreciate all of the support on the content. So we made it over here, we'll pretty much fold down the ramps, and then we'll take, go take a look at the new garage. Now the builders uh, were left, and take a look at this, they built this amazing two car garage. I mean this thing looks pretty cool, I really do like the trim, the stone trim, it has a door over here, so they did an amazing job building this. And that's awesome because we excavated it, we poured the foundation, then we called up the professionals to do the actual building of it. With all the building materials we did deliver, which you guys can check out in a video, but we'll be uh, lifting up this plow and we'll be backing off. Now like we are saying guys, this truck has a very realistic suspension, pretty cool, and I'm very excited to be using it. And we would be using the milling machine, but this is just too small of an area. So I will be hopping back in the Ford to kind of fix the suspension, kind of stop it from bouncing around. But I mean, that truck looks pretty cool. And like I was saying earlier, I did change the color to my favorite uh, dark red. And it did have a two-tone paint, so I changed the uh, brown to a black. So we'll lower this down and we'll start. Take a look at this. This is a pretty cool plow also, and I'll have the majority of the mods linked down below in the comments and in the description. We'll kind of back up over here, but having the right tools for the job is a very key factor for this construction shop. We want to do the most amount of jobs, bring in the most amount of revenue, but also uh, use cool equipment and be efficient, which I always really do like to do. So we do have to kind of pull up here. It looks like we are kind of veering off of this path, but I'm very excited to be using this tractor. It's a pretty cool tractor. We'll back up here. We will be doing a pass the opposite way, kind of cleaning up this area also, but we will have to remove this old dry weights. Uh, also got pretty uh, beat up, if you would say. A lot of wear and tear on it with the excavator in the tracks. We'll lift it up, we'll back up over here, and we actually need to go in between that area. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I believe that this skid steer will be able to push this flower pot. It's a little heavy for us to lift, so I'm thinking that we should be able to push it. Let's see, looks like we are able to push it, and look at that, guys. We can just about fit a skid steer in here. That's pretty scary. We will have to lay down some asphalt in here, but that's good how we uh, kind of move that out of the way, that's going to be very helpful, and uh, that's awesome how you can move objects in the map, but Mowing Map version 1 will be released very, very soon, you guys saw a pretty cool camping video, and a few more videos to come before it gets released, and there will be an awesome update with a really nice uh, 
awesome boat which will be released also so we do have to pull this tr truck forward just a little and we do have a service trailer in front but we did replace it with the f650 and you guys can go check out the latest upgrade video for this shop we did get a lot of really nice equipment so we'll back up here looks like we only have this one last pass and maybe kind of go clean up the rest after we do this Wow, this looks good so far. So next up, like I was saying guys, we'll be kind of cleaning up this area. It needs to be cleaned up. So we'll clean up this little area. Awesome, so we got that area cleaned up. We'll kind of back up over here. Looks like there's a little bit right over here. We'll have to remove this. Awesome, so we remove that. Next up, we'll have to come over here and just do a little bit of, a, of the walkway, which... I really do like how this walkway is asphalt. It's a very simple walkway, but it's also pretty efficient and easy to do. We'll do that. So we are really extending the driveway, but we are also replacing it. This plow is doing an amazing job. We'll kind of turn around here, and it is taking us just a little bit longer to do this uh, removal. Since it is asphalt, it takes us a little bit longer but overall this is a very awesome day and we'll be trying to do much longer videos you guys have been asking for it so we'll be doing more of longer ones which will be a lot of fun so we'll kind of go right up over here yeah looks like that's probably the closest i want to go and we'll just be doing probably one more pass over here but i, I also appreciate all the support on the live streams i really uh, am excited to be doing more live streams and uh, a lot of cool things like that. So we'll be continuing over here. We'll be doing a few farm sim Xbox streams also very soon. But we'll hop in this roller. We'll be using this roller. I will do probably a little bit off camera just because this rolls uh, pretty slow. But I mean it is pretty realistic. So I just did that little area to move it out of the way. So I can come in here and make this wider. That F450 looks amazing. That's awesome. And I did learn how to do a few cool modding things, which we'll be actually doing some uh, pretty cool mod releases. I will be doing more and more of them, so stay tuned for them. I am uh, in the works of looking for another uh, mod to do. But it looks like this area is perfect. That's good. Next up, we'll kind of come over here. And we got that all done. So that's good. Take a look at that, guys. We expanded the driveway. That took a very, very long time. But we'll kind of load this up. Now, I will be centering the majority of the weight on the axles to take a lot of weight off the tongue. And I believe that only 10% of the weight should be on the tongue, which is very realistic. We'll have to come in here, kind of stop the truck from bouncing. And, I mean, that's probably, like I was saying, my new favorite truck. Very excited that uh, we have one of those in Farm Sim. We'll back up here, and we'll pretty much kind of re-roll uh, it. Yeah, look at that. This is a really cool roller. I will probably skip through a little parts of this just because it's a very, very long uh, process of rolling out. But this is an amazing roller. I really do like it a lot. This is a pretty large roller. I will be looking for some smaller ones to have it a little bit more realistic, especially just for a driveway like this. But this is probably one of the largest driveways we have put together within the last few weeks. We haven't been doing too much paving videos, but I do have some brand new cool videos, uh, ones that you guys have never seen before coming to the channel. So hope you guys are excited for those. Those will be a lot of fun, and I do have a lot of fun getting all these mods set up and uh, everything like that so I appreciate all the support on that and like I was saying we'll probably skip through a little bit of the rolling we just about finished rolling out compacting the dirt it came out really nice and I'm very excited for laying this asphalt and making this a really nice driveway and this will be a large one which will be perfect for the customer they did ask 
4 1, which will be uh, looking good. So I do like this one. This garage looks pretty cool, also. So we'll probably start off over here and then work our way over since there's a walkway and there is a few walkways actually one for the house one for that but if we do need more of this asphalt we'll be going over to the tractor supply to get a few more truckloads we're back all the way up here that looks to be pretty good right about there and we will actually also be using the roller to compact the driveway which is going to be pretty realistic so it looks like we have to back up do a few more truckloads And I'm not exactly sure what's happening right there. There's a little section right now that's not letting us really unload the asphalt. So we'll back up here and we'll be doing more. But this asphalt looks pretty cool. I did get a few comments on asking why is the asphalt so gray. And I'm not exactly sure why the asphalt is gray, not really uh, kind of black. But it does kind of tell a mod works and I really do enjoy the mod. And I was just going to let you all know that I'm not exactly sure why, but we'll back up here. Looks like we are having trouble unloading this truckload of asphalt. Yeah, so it looks like we did have this problem once before. It could be a mod confliction with uh, something with a map. I will have to look into that. But overall, I'm very excited that we got to uh, pretty much extend this driveway, which was a pretty big feature. But it looks like... We still have a lot left. Awesome. So we'll be heading over. I think we'll go get one truckload more of asphalt. Then we'll come back. Kind of spread some of it out. And then we'll call it a day. But like I was saying earlier, guys, version 1 will be released very soon. I am testing it. It will have spawn vehicles, new garage doors, and a few other things like that. That's pretty cool. But I mean, this truck is one of my favorite dump trucks in the game. Very large. Holds a lot of material. And looks amazing we made it over here to the tractor supply which is good and I usually uh, kind of try to be as realistic as possible with all my videos so we'll switch over here to the asphalt we'll get a full truckload all right we just got a full truckload of asphalt which is pretty cool we still do the beacon lights on I usually keep those LED lights on for when we are at the job site we are sometimes in the road on the side of the road it makes the uh, drivers aware and I am working on the traffic for this map I think it will be awesome if we could do it if not it will be for version 2 in for version 2 I will add a highway and double the size of the map so for all the next versions we will just be making them larger but until then we'll be doing versions uh, with uh, pretty big improvements like this one as a very large forest area also so we'll be coming back over here we'll unload some and i think to end the day we'll hop back in the 2017 ford and we'll head back to the house and call it a day over there i'm not exactly sure like i was saying guys what's happening because it doesn't really want to unload any asphalt this is interesting Hasn't really happened like this before. It looks like I am dumping just a little bit more, which is good. We'll kind of leave the truck running right how it is. We'll hop in the JCB, and we have a lot of spreading out to do. Because, I mean, this driveway, like we're saying, we ran into that problem with it not wanting to unload. So we actually have to kind of drive over it. And it looks like there's a pile over there, and we cannot really get stuck. So we have to be pretty careful. So when you do drive on the building materials mod, it will spread itself out which is very realistic and it looks like this driveway area isn't really going out as we planned it to but not every video turns out always with the best but I always do try my best to make it amazing content for all of you but it looks like we already like have a full bucket load right over here can we dump some out? yeah it looks like we are able to dump it out which is good and if we could get the majority of the aisles fall down I will have to do a lot of the leveling off camera just because there's way too much asphalt in some areas. Looks like I scraped up just a little too much, but I think we'll back up just, that's probably good right about there. We'll come over here and do this little walkway. And then I think we'll be calling it a day, like I was saying, this driveway will require a lot of work. But it looks like the majority of the spots are kind of getting 
uh, filled up, which is perfect. Now, there is a lot more asphalt here than what we really need, so I will have to probably load a few buckets up into the truck again, which is fine. I do like uh, to bring more material than what's really needed for the job. We'll kind of come along here very slowly and clean it up. Awesome, so we'll probably leave this skits here right over here, turn the dump truck off. Today was a very successful day. I really did like that we got the majority of it done. I will have to level it off camera, but we got the majority kind of spread out. A few spots here that I will have to touch up and everything like that. But we'll be disconnecting this. We'll be coming back a little bit later today, and I will be finishing it off, off camera. But you guys can see, like I was saying, this is my new favorite truck. I do like this. The link will be down below in the description to some of the trucks into the map. You guys can download them and check them out. We'll head back now. This is a version of beta. This is a version for the beta, which I still have. It's not completely up to date, but I do like using this, and I will have to update the save game. But we made it back over here in the 2017 Ford F-350 King Ranch. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.